Hey everybody, um, today I'm going to show you how to calculate some basic statistical measures in Excel. Um, I'm going to start with the mean, so I've got some data over here. And whenever I go into a cell and I want to have it calculate something for me, I'm going to start with an equal sign. And that tells it that I'm using a formula. All right, so for mean, well, I'm going to use the function average. And you can see as I start to type, it will try and guess what I'm going to do. And so I'm going to choose average here, double click on that. And then I just have to tell it what um, cells I want it to use to calculate. So I'm just going to highlight those over here. And if I hit enter, then there is the mean or average for this set of data. For a mean, again, I'm going to start with the equal sign. And this time I'm going to start typing in median and it guesses it again for me. And then I just need to pick the cells again and hit enter. And there's the median. Mode, same thing, equals. And then type in mode. I'm going to go with the basic one there. And then again, choose those cells and hit enter. Standard deviation, there's a few of these options. And so we're going to start typing this in. And I want the one that says stdev.s and that's for a sample if I was doing a population I would have chosen the P I'm gonna assume this is a sample here though okay, and then again just select the data and hit enter and there's the standard deviation if I come over for the five number summary then a quartile is gonna be the next thing so I'm gonna hit equals and then type in quartile choose that last one there now this one's gonna be a little bit different I'm gonna choose the data cells I need and then I'm going to come up here and put a comma. And I want the first quartile, so I'm going to hit a comma and then a one. And I'll close off those parentheses and hit enter. And there is the first quartile. Then I'll use the same function for the third quartile. Choose my data again. And then again, a comma. And then I want the third quartile, so I'm going to hit a three and close off those parentheses. So there's the third quartile. The second quartile already found when I found the median, so I don't need to do that again. For a max, again, I'm gonna hit equals and then start typing in max. And look, there's the function I'm looking for. And then just select my data again and hit enter. There's the maximum value. You may have guessed min is gonna be very similar. There's my min, choose my data and hit enter. And there we go. And for this last one, there's not really a range function, but I know I can find the range by taking the maximum minus the min. So I'm gonna hit equals, and then I'm just gonna choose the max cell, and then hit minus, and then choose the min cell, and it's gonna subtract those two values for me. And so just hit enter, and there is my range. And that's it.